Hello, this is a virtual pathology specimen of a mature cystic teratoma of the ovary, and we're looking at the cut surface where we can see three cyst locules. Let me just turn this around. This is the capsular surface, and as we see, the capsular surface appears to be intact, and there is no evidence of rupture here. Moving back to the cut surface, this is comprised of three locules and therefore this is a porcy locular cystic lesion. In the middle locule, we can see that there is a solid area and let me just reveal the labels. So this solid area is known as the umbo. And when we look more closely, this umbo appears to be covered by something that resembles skin. And on microscopy, this would actually show skin structures, including keratinizing stratified squamous epithelium with underlying adnexal structures. And this explains why we can see hair that is coming out of this skin. We also notice that the cut surface of the umbo appears quite yellowish, and this is due to the presence of fatty tissue or adipose tissue. So we can see that within this cyst locule, we have the solid area or the umbo, and we have lots of hairs that are coming out from the lining of this locule. The other locules appear to be relatively thin-walled without solid areas. Let's look at another example. Here is another example of a mature cystic teratoma, and what is very obvious in this specimen is the solid area or the umbo as well as the presence of very well-formed teeth. So we can see these teeth, and this is because teratomas are composed of multiple types of tissue that originate from different germ cell layers, and therefore practically any organ or any tissue can arise within teratomas. Let's look at one last example. And in this example, we can see that this is a multi-locular cystic lesion. Once again, we can see some hairs within some of the cyst locules. And in addition, we can also appreciate that there are these whitish areas, and this actually represents bony tissue. And bone arises from mesoderm. Let's learn a bit more about teratomas of the ovary. Teratomas are germ cell tumors, and they contain tissue from at least two of the three germ cell layers, meaning endodermal, ectodermal, and mesodermal. There are three main types of teratomas. What we just saw is a mature teratoma, which is often cystic, hence it is also known as a mature cystic teratoma. This is benign and occurs in the reproductive age group. Then there is the immature or malignant teratoma, which tends to occur in a younger age group, including children and teenagers. And this is defined by the presence of a significant amount of immature neuroepithelial tubules. And then there are teratomas with somatic neoplasms arising within them. And this is usually quite rare and occurs in a slightly older age group, in middle-aged women. And the neoplasms can be benign, such as melanocytic nevi, choroid plexus papillomas, or malignant, including squamous cell carcinoma, adenocarcinoma, melanoma, etc. Here is a gross picture of a specimen that is taken from PathWeb. PathWeb is our free online pathology resource. You can find many annotated gross and microscopic pictures in our Virtual Pathology Museum, which contains more than 1,000 interactive virtual specimens, such as the one that you just saw earlier. And registration is free, and the link is in the video description. Clinically, the mature cystic teratomas are usually slow-growing and therefore they often are asymptomatic, so they are discovered on incidental imaging. The immature teratomas grow more rapidly and they can present as an abdominal pelvic mass. Some of the complications would include torsion and rupture, which could lead to acute abdomen as well as severe pain. Here is the annotated cross pathology picture from PathWeb, and you can see the umbo or the solid area and the cyst contents that appear quite different. So usually this is a cystic mass which can be porcy or multilocular as we have seen. The locules contain hair, teeth, cartilage, bone or sebaceous 
oily material and the ambo is the solid area and this is a protuberance in the cyst wall and sometimes it is known as the Rokitansky nodule. I will run through the microscopic features here briefly, however there is a separate microscopy video in PathWeb demonstrating a virtual microscopy slide. In a mature cystic teratoma, we can see benign tissues, as mentioned, that arise from any of the three germ cell layers. For example, here we can see skin, keratinizing stratified squamous epithelium, and nexal structures, which are these pilosebaceous glands, and this is where the hair arises from. It can also contain brain. Very often we can see neural glial tissue as part of the ectodermal layer. And here is just an example showing mesodermal tissue where we can see some islands of cartilage as well as some adipose tissue. Not shown here are endodermal elements, for example, intestine, respiratory epithelium, thyroid, etc. In summary, this is an example of a virtual pathology specimen of a mature cystic teratoma of the ovary. This shows a posse locular cystic mass, and within the central locule, we can see this solid umbo or protuberance. This is covered by skin, and we can see some adipose tissue on the cut surface, and also there is a lot of hair within this cyst locule. The mature cystic teratoma is a benign neoplasm and treatment is resection. This is a page taken from our Virtual Pathology Museum in PathWeb and as you scroll down you can see more information as well as gross and microscopy pictures and talking pots and slides videos. Thank you.